For my Alabama virtual library project, I chose under student resources, middle school resources. I looked at the Britannica middle school edition. Um, I chose this because of the broadness and vastness of the different topics you could teach using this resource. It is an encyclopedia like students are used to. They're used to using Wikipedia and uh, different online resources that aren't necessarily uh, great. So this is a centralized place for them to use, and it is kid-friendly, so that's helpful. Um, search topics there in that search bar. If you're not looking for a specific topic, you just want generic articles or you're not really sure what you're looking for, you can click that articles button. And in any of these topics, look up articles, uh, media, or biographies in any of those different topics. Back on the home page, the thing that I think is great about this is a teacher is the lesson plan browse section. So say whatever grade level you teach, whatever lesson you teach, you can bring up a lesson plan for if you're looking for something specific, you can actually search that. If you're not looking for something specific, you can just uh, click the check boxes until you're kind of narrowing down what you want to do. Uh, under a different, if you search, let's say French Revolution, it brings up articles, images, videos, magazines, different websites that talk about the French Revolution, uh, primary resources, which are super helpful, uh, especially as a history teacher, we're really big on using those to help teach the historic topic that we're um, discussing in class. Any of these things that you like or you want to use, you can star them. And they're actually saved in the My Content. So whenever you sign in, you can actually save things to a, this content folder uh, for quick, easy access. Um, so super helpful there, very convenient. Um, there are a lot of different resources on this Britannica encyclopedia um, that I can't even get into fully here. Uh, the country compare is really cool. If you have different countries that kids are trying to compare for your class, brings it up stats, brings up articles, images based on the two different countries. Uh, if your kids are looking for a biography, there's different biographies here, tons of them. Uh, if they're looking for really, really anything you can think of can be found in this Britannica encyclopedia.